there was a house at 1051 South 32nd Street. And the year was 1929. It was uh, a couple who, a black couple who bought that house. The whole area was in transition from white to black. And uh, I'm trying to think his name too. He worked at, uh, he worked at the train station. His wife was a teacher. And around Thanksgiving, the Klan came through there and shot up his house. And so he got his buddies and friends and he said, well, when they come back again, we'll be ready for them. And so when they came through there again, before the Klan's could shoot up their house, they were shooting out. So that stopped them from coming and agitating. Who was doing the shooting out? The black guy yeah. mm -hmm, and his friends. So mm -hmm. he defended himself? He defended himself. I'm trying to did you ever that. have any experiences with the Klan? Yes, I did. I had a great experience with the Klan. They hate me. <laughs> how, do, how do you know that? What, tell us what happened. I had a bill, uh, anti-mask uh, um, bill, anti-mask bill, prohibiting anyone from wearing a mask in public or burning a cross on public property. It was anti-Klan bill. Well, when I introduced that bill, the grand dragon, great, great dragon, I believe, of the Klan, he and his buddies came to Frankfurt. And one day I was walking in the hall, Frankfurt, in the hall, and uh, I didn't know who he was. He came up, he told me who he was. He gave me his name, Sherman, Sherman something. I can't think of it. But anyway, he was the Grand Dragon. And he started telling me a story about how they, somebody did something to them and they set the bus on fire and he was going through all this stuff, telling me about it. And I'm walking along the hall. I'm on my way to a committee room to try to get my bill reported out of the committee. So I went on before the committee and I talked about it the bill. And they reported it out favorably. That evening I called my husband Powers and I said, and he always told me, he said, well, I saw you on TV on the news. He said, you seem so nervous. I said, if you had that grand devil standing behind you, you'd be nervous too. I didn't call him grand dragon, I said the devil. I said, that grand devil <laughs> standing behind you, you'd have been nervous too. But they reported out favorably, and it came up before the vote in the House, in the Senate, and it passed big time, which surprised me. Mike Maloney out of Lexington and David Karam, uh, who's my seatmate, uh, they all voted for it, and I was surprised. So now it went to the House. It went into the committee in the House, and I told Aubrey Williams, who was a legislator in the House then, I said, when it comes before the committee, I'll come and speak on behalf of the bill. Oh, no, I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it. Well, also at night, I was staying at the travel lodge, and there was a sidewalk outside of their doors. And at night, they would pull up in the truck, and they had a rifle up behind them, and they'd walk up and down that. I'm, I'm staying in the room. They'd walk up and down that uh, walkway. And I'd stick, the, I didn't have no gun. I'd just stick the chair up under the door and I think they'd <laughs> stop them, you know. And I said, well, uh, it's just what it is. So they did that until the bill was killed in the house. 